Good evening, my lovelies. Right, part one of the unboxing of... Well, I know it's over ten. It's definitely over ten. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just in here. If I can swing you round, we've got all those. And this one we're doing today. So if I get you in position, we'll make a start. Hope you're all doing well. Now, as I said to you before, this is from a gentleman we will call Joe. And I first met him on eBay. I started buying from him. And the relationship progressed and he's more or less turned into my benefactor. Right. Oops. Yeah, I haven't really thought this through. Let's move you again. Hold on. So you can see here we go. This is the first box. Uh, my arm's in the way. Right. Here we go. So, let's have a look. Now, to be honest with you, each box has been opened by me. And I've sealed it back up for dramatic effect. But, as I said, these started back in April. And I can't even remember what I bought. Right, let's get this out of the way. All right, can we see? There we go. Sorted. Right, I'll try and keep this as quick as possible. Uh, but you know me. I apologise for the last video. Like I said, I haven't got a clue how to edit. Now, this was a box of four coming to a total of a hundred kilos. And when I opened it, <laughs> I could see why. Uh, this is a Draffa Redline toolbox. And still has contents in it. Like, well, you can see for yourself. I think if I went through every item... It will be an extremely long video, which I know you lot don't like. Um, and some of these names that I haven't even heard of. But yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, this guy has helped me no end. Look at that little sweetie. Wow. Someone's put new scales on it. Flat one side, curve the other. <laughs> How sweet is that? It has a name, but we're not going to do that today. Uh, not a clue. Not a clue. Right, let's delve a bit deeper. Oh, crikey. I literally have forgotten. <coughs> Excuse me. What's in here? Oh, record. Uh, 
Uh, don't know if it's a brand name, but perfect handle style. But it looks immaculate, but someone's been using it as a pry bar. But they haven't banged on it. Awesome. Awesome. Chisels. Plenty of... Oh, that's got a date on it. Or something. Anyway, we'll do that another day. More screwdrivers. Uh, ones with bits in. And what's that? A leather tack puller or something similar. If you see anything, uh, let's say I'm I'm a tool collector, but not a tool collector. I'm not our good friend Ben or uh, well, you know the guys. I love tools, but my ultimate goal is to buy myself and Jane a camper van, uh, and it needs to be um, with disabled facilities, shall we say, and they're not cheap. So if you see anything that's worth a few bob, please put in the timeline, um, code whatever it's called of what where when why how please because like i said i collect tools obviously but i'm not a collector if i can make some money i definitely will because it's mine and jane's dream you know uh, our boys have left home now and we want to spend some time together doing what we do. Plus, she doesn't know it yet, but I want to go up to Scotland and do some gold penning. Anyway, back to this. So if you spot anything, please, please let me know. Because uh, uh, I will be putting them on eBay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've started a separate uh, account. That's a whopper. I take it that's uh, um, what do they call them? Stamps? Not stamps. Anyway, you know what it is. Tires. Weird and wonderful micrometer. Is that what they're called? Or something similar? Handles looks like a modified. Actually, it's one of Scout Crafters' grinds there, but a bad one. Love it. Anyway, so that's that box. A hole punch. Yes, it is. No, it's not a hole punch. It's a punch. Love the hammers. Love the axes. Original handle. Uh, but it's been <laughs> slaughtered and just your Kindle splitting hacks, I assume. Still got bloody mud on it. Right, that's that one done. Very pleased, very happy. Now, all these boxes have either come from eBay, from the same seller, which we're calling Joe. Oh, bloody hell, that's heavy. Uh, and that, once we got to be friends, we then obviously went privately. What's that for, then? Is that a thatch? It's very, very crude. Very sharp. Is that a thatch knife or what something similar? I don't think it's hedge lane. Nice. And here's his big brother. Now this is a this is for hedge lane. What a piece of work. Beautiful. That should clean up beautifully. 
So it's got a three, whatever that means. You see that? Just where my thumb, three. Right, what else? I tell you, this is, you know, I won't keep on harping on about it, but it really, Joe has really helped me out with my mental health, to say the least. Because every time I got a message from him on Facebook, I knew, yes, please, a box was going to come. Uh, what's this then? That spins. Riveted. And a strange... Um, I'm going to say gardening. I don't know if it's bent that way on purpose but if any of you guys know please I'd like to know right whopping great tin snips uh, 12 inches as you can see nice I'll keep them out <coughs> I assume that's for woodworking. Are they called oars? Don't know. I don't think it's a cheese one. <laughs> right, next. Right. Look at this beauty. Go and have a guess what's in there. I'm sure you all know. A stone. Uh, is it purposely on an angle? Or? Well, I'm not going to force it to come out. Would it be purposely done like that? Nice, beautiful. Uh, looks like mahogany or teak. <coughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Spears and Jackson. Old scraper. Uh, Copley. 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 You see that? Not sure. Uh, loose handle. Don't think... Oh. Is it original or not? Don't know. But yeah, loose handle. Uh, nice bit of brass. Heavy and long. Yeah, all right. Oh, here we go. And uh, saws. I think we'll go through those another day. Like I say, I'm trying to keep these short. Very comfortable handle. One of the biggest files I've ever seen. That's a monster. Uh, it will have a there I can see script but it looks new or feels new feels sharp nice what we got here well, that's a Stanley number 803 oh, it's a bit oh there we go Nice. Uh, now, did something go in there? Or is it to do left and right handed? I don't know. Uh, a skinny Stanley Rasp. Number 90, no, 191. Nice. Uh, oh, 
Stanley Flathead. Seen better days. Christ, no wonder these boxes are heavy. <laughs> Very crude ground hammer. And it definitely has been hammered upon at a weird angle. Don't see any markings yet. But a nice lump hammer. Okay. How's that for a long screwdriver? Uh, strange though. Is it homemade or? That's. Don't know. But nice. Okay, that's a strange one. It looks like a file that's possibly been turned into a tool. Alright, right, we're coming to the end of this one. Uh, who have we got? Have we got a brand name? Alright, it's so a number number three someone stamped there as you know i don't mind those because it makes it personal to the previous owner uh very dirty but it works can we see who it is uh, british made number I'm going to say 35. All right. Oh, there we go. You see that? J E N E R O. I think it's. Never heard of them. Actually, no. Never heard of them. Different. And there's also Oh, it's a brick tool. Can you see that? Oh, there we go. Nineteen forty four. Wow. So I assume somewhere on here there might be a broad arrow. Crow's foot, whatever you want to call it. Don't know. But yeah, brick tool. Lovely. Oh, we're still going. Okay. P. Rodley. Draw knife. I think that's what they're called. I like that. Awesome. And that, my gents, is box one done. Hope you like what you saw. Uh, Tom's sticker is up. T-Rex Customs. And for those of you that didn't see Oh, that's it. I'm going to smash my camera, break me mug. Let's have a look. What do you think of that? Then? And of course, the other way. Me. Right, there we are then. 19 minutes. I think you've put up with enough. Uh, please like share subscribe definitely subscribe because i need the following not just for anyway my main point is when i find things that i don't know i want to know and you guys can put it in the comments anyway 
Next box will be soon. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.